I would describe my makeup style as very detailed and symmetrical a lot of the time. I'm definitely a perfectionist, like to the point where it's like a problem. <laughs> I think my dream job is to just be able to create creatures and things that don't exist yet. Making something look like it's real when it isn't, it is literally the closest thing we have to magic. Today, we want you to show us what makes you unique. You'll be doing your makeup on yourselves. This look must show us a story. I was diagnosed with autism when I was like 17. I always thought I was a bit odd. On a bad day, giving someone eye contact is like physically painful, but my autism affects my makeup in a positive way. I see makeup as like a process and I visualize it in my head as like a, a line. Once it's set in stone, that is law, so it will get done. My look is based on when women with autism try and act normal. And I'm basically using the mask shape on my face to represent how I was sort of pretending to be someone who I wasn't. I entered this competition because I've just been told I can't do stuff for so long. It is so beautiful. I just want to look at it forever. This is everything that I love about makeup. If you're doing this on the first brief, I'm very excited to see what else you bring. So talk me through your look. Which artist were you inspired by? Francis Bacon. And Why? like, because his faces are weird and he was just a bit chaotic. Well, I've had a little walk around the room and Sophie's is Phenomenal. You know, it's Francis Bacon mm -hmm. through and through. Oh, I keep forgetting to breathe. <laughs> we want you to create a look that is out of this world. This could mean exploring space as we know it, imagining extraterrestrial life, or creating a vision of another world. My brief today is the result of when aliens try to create the perfect human, but it goes wrong. Look at the way she's whipping through that prosthetic. Bish, bash, bosh. You're making something that's been in my head since I was like five. <laughs> Even standing here, I'm emotional because it's like, I didn't think I'd do it. I took inspiration from all the like sci-fi films and TV shows that I watched when I was younger. You can imagine this makeup in the film. It's really well thought out. It suddenly became this creature from the lagoon. I'm not saying that to make fun of your work. I'm saying that to say that your work is incredible. One of my favorite quotes by Alan Turing is sometimes it's the people that no one imagines anything of that do the things that no one can imagine. One of the biggest things that I've learned from this competition so far is that I am actually good at what I do. And I had a lot of self-doubt before I came here. To do my best would be to win. So like, I'm gonna go into it with that, that is my aim.